Hey guys, I'm back with another tier listing. Um, this might go up on the same day as my Call of Duty one. If not, it's going up on the next day. But I'm back because of that poll that I did do, Pokemon Tide. Um, I decided to do Call of Duty first because I've already done a Pokemon one. But today we are doing a Generation 1. Um, my opinions on each of the Pokemon, whether I like them or not, and how much uh, I think they're cool or I don't think they're cool. So let's get started. Um, so the first one is going into is going to be Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur. Yeah, favorites. They're my favorite Pokemon. Um, nothing probably will top that. They get up top. They're going to be leading the pack. Charmander, Charmeleon. I like Charmander. I like Charmeleon. Um, Charizard is eh. Okay, I'm not a big fan of Charizard. He gets overhyped and he gets too much love. Just eh. Okay. He's. I get it. Fire Dragon. That's a cool concept, but it's kind of basic. Basic. All dragons. Most dragons spit fire. Not all dragons. Most dragons. So he's an eh. Squirtle, War Turtle, Blastoise, dude. Favorites. Uh, we'll go great. I love. I like him a lot. Squirtle, War Turtle can go great. Blastoise favorite. Blastoise got cannon on his back. No, cannons. Like what else do you need? Um, it's just cool. Cool concept. You'll never see that in new Pokemon, but it is what it is. Um, I think. I think okay. Metapod can go... Caterpie is okay. I mean, it's just a caterpillar. Metapod can go an ant, and Butterfree can go an okay. I mean, it's a it's a butterfly. Weedle, again, okay. Um, Kakuna can go an ant, cocoon. Beedrill, I like Beedrill. Beedrill can go in good. Oh, why did I put... Tar Charmeleon should go in good. Yeah, maybe great. Charmeleon can go in great. He's a fire lizard, not a char dragon. That was wrong. Pidgey, we're going great. Pidgeotto, great. Pidgeot, favorite, bird Jesus, that's all I need to say, right, look at him, look at him, just got that mane flowing, uh. Hey guys, I just wanted to take a quick pause in this video to let you know about 70% of the people that watch the tier list videos that I make aren't subscribed, and if you guys could just do me a huge favor and go down, in the, uh, <clears throat> down below and click that subscribe button, that would really help me out, thanks. All right, we'll go Rattata. I'm going to go put Rattata in great for the sole fact that my first shiny ever was a Rattata, and I just have great memories of it. I remember it was the first Pokemon I encountered starting a new game in uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green, and I was like, why is this Rattata greenish, orange, goldish thing? Raticate, it's good. I mean, I don't, eh, it's, okay. It's a fat rat. I mean, the next logical step from a small rat. Firo is, eh, I don't really like Firo. Just, I just think the pink and the brown just don't look good together. That's Spiro, not Firo, and same goes for Firo, I guess. They both go in, eh. Um, Ekans, Ekans is okay. It's just a snake, but backwards. <laughs> and same goes for Arbok. Um, I don't, I mean, there's just snakes. Arbok would be cooler if it had more patterns, but it doesn't. It only got a couple, so I wish they would, like, have, like, did what they did for Vivian and they just give them a bunch of, bunch of patterns. Pikachu, um, Pikachu's overhyped. I'm going to put it in, eh. I don't really mind, but Raichu, Raichu's great. Er, Raichu, I like Raichu a lot. We're going to put him in good, though. So, like, he's top good. Top of good. Santru, good. I like Santru, and I like Sand Slash. No, it doesn't, I mean, Beedrill's back here, but it doesn't, I don't, it doesn't mean I like him more. Um, I just think they're cool Pokemon. They're Armadillos, and Sand Slash has got all the spikes. I always like, is he a, he's kind of like a porcupine. I guess Santru's an Armadillo. He's an Armadillo Pokemon. I like them both. Ground types. Pretty solid. Nidoran. Nidoran is okay. Nidorino. I, eh, I don't really like Nidorino. I don't think it looks dumb. Nidoqueen. Nidoqueen can go good. It, it's solid upgrade from Nidorino. That's Nidorino. My bad. Nidoran male. Same. Okay. Um, Nid I mean, I really... Really, these two... Like... Nidor Nidorino. Eh, he can go in okay as well. He's better than Nidorina. And Nidoking is going into great. I like Nidoking's design a lot. And when you can play him in... Generation 1, he can get one really early and just dominate through the rest of the game. Um, don't really like Clefa Clefairy and Clefable. They can go and eh. There's just something about them. They're just plump plump people with ears. I don't, they're not really that memorable to me. Nine Tails is okay. I like it. it has a uh, fox. One of my first Pokemon cards was a Nine Tails. Or that's that's a Vulpix. One of the first Pokemon cards was a Vulpix and a Nine Tails. Nine Tails can go in good. Got fond memory. I mean, it's a good Pokemon. I like it a lot. Uh, sleek design. I like Alone Nine Tails better. Most people do. Jigglypuff is eh. Don't really care. It's better in Smash Bros. than it is in Pokemon. And Wigglytuff can I don't like Wigglytuff. 
no good. That's the first bad design. It's just a marshmallow looking idiot. I don't like it. Zubat. Zubat's going in great. I love Zubat. Zubat is a, I mean, now most people are annoyed by Zubat. Zubat can go right behind War Turtle. Squirtle. Zubat, most people get annoyed by him, but I like Zubat, and he's in most games. And in most games, you can get his final evolution, Crobat, which is one of my favorite Pokemon. But again, don't like Golbat. Golbat looks dumb. Uh, why would you, like, just make his mouth bigger and give him eyes? Don't like that. They did a much improvement with, um, with old Crobat. Golbat can just go sit down here. Oddish. Oddish is my second shiny ever found, and I'm going to put it in good. I like Oddish. Gloom is... Mm, on the verge of these middle stages some of these middle stages I'm gonna put it in bad I don't really like gloom via plume is okay via plume is 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 a much better upgrade than gloom but still not not it just not not that great Paris Parasex okay Paris and uh but Parasex is eh. I like Paris probably could I wish they would have done something different I mean they just made the mushroom bigger but I don't think like I mean he's kind of cute here not really here he loses that and that's really all he had going for him Venonat, eh, Venomoth, eh, these are kind of forgettable Pokemon, obviously they weren't in, in games for a long time, so I don't really like them, I've never really used them, that's, that's just how, Diglett, I like Diglett, Diglett's okay, so is Dugtrio, it's just three Diglett's, I mean it's kind of a lazy design, but still, I, I, since I like Diglett, I'm gonna like Dugtrio, just three of them, um, good, fast ground type, like it a lot, Meowth, Meowth's okay, Persian, I like Persian more than I like Meowth because it's a more sleek cat, more just slender. So I kind of remember the new legendary that just came out. I don't remember his name. I, wanna, I don't know what's his name. I wonder if it took basis off Persian's design because it kind of looks like, kind of looks similar. Um, but I, it's a better, it's a good upgrade to Meowth, in my opinion. Psyduck, Psyduck is good. In just recent years, um, one of my buddies, he, uh, one of my buddies reminds me of a Psyduck. So that, I correlate Psyduck to him and then, He's bumped that bumps Psyduck up a few stages. Probably would have been an ant before, but I think it's pretty funny when I call him a Psyduck and he gets kind of upset. But it is what it is. Golduck, uh, Golduck should have been Psychic type. That's a miss, miss opportunity there. So I'm gonna put him in okay. But he's still a cool design. Blue duck, like it, like it a lot. Mankey, Mankey's a dog. Mankey's going in great. Mankey's going to the top of great actually. Nope, that's favorites. Um, Mankey, early round, oh, I remember getting Mankey when I first was playing through the game. That is, what, second round you could access, technically second or third. Um, and he's there. You just got to keep looking for him. I always remember I'm always getting a Mankey every time. Primate's going in favorites. Primate's a dog. He's a go. He's, he's a monkey man pig. It's like South Park, man bear pig, right there. That's, that is what Primate is. He's just an angry monkey man, and I'm all about it. Growlithe, great design like it it's your it's your dog that's what it is is the fire pooch and then arcanine arcanine is going in also in great uh first shining pokemon go that's how i remember him and i still use one of my most is i think still my top six in my pokemon go play or team so oh well, yeah nope charizard eh. Poliwag is okay. It's just a tadpole, but it's worthy stomach. I like this design because it's based on those tadpoles that you can see their intestines. Poliwhirl is goofy, derpy, and Poliwrath I like a, a lot. I like more than I like both of these. Um, I think I've only used him like once or twice in the playthrough, but I liked when I used him, so you go there. We're going okay with Abra, good with Alakaz or Kadabra, and then Alakazam can go in... So I'm going to put him in okay. Now this one isn't based on design. This is more like as a kid I couldn't really get the, any of the trade evolutions. So because um, I didn't have the necessary equipment to trade Pokemon. So I rocked out with Kadabra more than, than I did in Alakazam. So that's why um, I think their designs are both pretty solid. I just think that I have more fond memories with Kadabra than I do um, Alakazam. We're going to do the same for Machoke over Machamp because I couldn't, I remember I had a level 100 Machoke one time and I could never get a Machamp because I couldn't have the stuff. But Machamp forearms is pretty dope. It's the logical step. And I mean, I get why people would like him over more, like him more than Machoke. I just have more memories with Machoke. Bellsprout, I really like Bellsprout. Um, Bellsprout, Weeping Bell is kind of okay. Kind of looks dumb. But Victory Belt, I like, I like him a lot. He's going in great. Um, the pear-shaped plant with the 
the acid spewing. I always liked him every time. I always thought it was a threat every time you face Erica. So those those three are solid Pokemon. Weeping Bell could have used a little bit more love, but I'm gonna go. Eh. I don't. I've never really been a fan of Tentacruel. Tentacruel. Um, he's just kind of silly and annoying. He's the Zubat of the Sea, right? But um, not a lot. Like I, as a kid, I was dumb and I didn't know how to deal with poison types. So I just ran around with Venusaur all the time and poison didn't like the poison wasn't grass wasn't super effective and it made me mad but tentacruel i like his design a lot um but again same thing happens with tenta tentacool just annoying i was dumb as a kid didn't know what i was doing so he's gonna get he's gonna get a good geodude um we're rocking out with good I like geodude dude dude's a dog we're going graveler same thing we're going with cadabra uh machoke and graveler um, couldn't train him, so Golem's gonna go. Golem just doesn't make sense to me, too. Like, why? He, I like his design, but, like, it doesn't make sense. Like, this makes sense, Geodude to Graveler, but not, um, Graveler Golem. I still like Golem. Golem kind of is almost his separate Pokemon, in my opinion. We're going all the way to the top. Fire Horse, of course, he's great. Ponyta's dope. Rapidash is my favorite fire type, so you are going right behind the old Venusaur. Um, Rapidash is fast. I used him. I remember using a Rapidash in my first ever time playing through Soul Silver, and it got me through beating the Elite Four and Red. It was great. I enjoyed him a lot. Slowpoke, the first Hippo Pokemon, of course, is going in great. Um, most people are like, "That's a Hippo." Yeah, it's a Hippo. Um, not the best designed Hippo, but it's still Hippo, so you got to give him love. And Slowbro is a Hippo standing up. So, or yeah, Slowpoke is love. Yeah, so. Pretty solid Pokemon. Magnemite, Magneton, or eh. I like Magnezone a lot, but these are not them. Um, lazy design, like with Dugtrio, but much more basic design. Farfetch'd? I like Farfetch'd. Farfetch'd is cool. I used a Galarian Farfetch'd in my playthrough of <coughs> um, of Sword and Shield because I liked Farfetch'd a lot, but he was kind of useless and not that good. So I remember getting the trade the first time, and I was like, oh, what is this? Po I'm going to use this Pokemon. And I, how naive was I? because he's not that good <laughs> um dodrio is okay i like him i like or that's do duo he's adorable kind of i mean he's kind of stupid looking um looks like you break his neck at any time but dodrio is fierce mean and an ostrich pokemon that with three heads genius i like seal it's okay i mean it's just a seal obviously but dugong i like a lot um one of the first pokemon cards i got so we're gonna put him in great um fond memories of getting that card i don't know why i just remember remember getting it and i was like let's go um grimer grimer's a little derpy little derpy dude he's just poop that's what he is so literally what he, he's just he's just scum but so we're gonna put him in in okay muck is just more powerful poop so i think it's kind of hilarious so we're gonna put him in good it means pretty much similar design he's just angry angrier cloister is okay i mean it's just a it's just a clam that's all and then same goes i mean that's god i keep saying the evolve form shelter is just a clam and cloister is just a bigger clam with a pearl so they're gonna go there um ghastly we're going good i like ghastly's design we're gonna put all three of them in good um haunter i never used haunter Ga ghastly haunter gengar like i did with the other three sage evolutions whoa but I still like Gengar a lot. I think he's cool. I think when they portray him in like any version of the anime, I think he's pretty funny. So that's why I like him. Onyx. Onyx is so cool. He's just a big rock snake, even though he's weaker than weaker than um he he put him at top of good um weaker than an Oddish and attack stat. But his defense stuff is uh hip or drowsy. Drowsy's good. I like drowsy. I think drowsy's hilarious. It's just a tapir. Um, Hypno, on the other hand, is just, we're going to sit okay. Eh, no, we're going, eh. I don't like Hippo. They, this was a downgrade. It doesn't even look like a tapir anymore. Why would they change that? They should, I, he just looked like a man trying to steal children. Ooh, Krabby and Kingler. Krabby's going in great. We're putting him, putting him in front of Pidgey. And then Kingler is a dog of Gen 1. We're putting him right, we'll put, yeah, no. Yes, he's my favorite one to type in Gen 1. Kingler. Just a crab with a massive hammer. Him in the anime, dude, when he evolves against in the bat, then the in the ch the championship battles at the end of the the anime, goaded move. Um, Voltorb and Electrode are just Pokeballs, so I'm just gonna go. Eh, that's not not my thing. Uh, I like Execute. It's kind of basic, but um, 
smart smart design. It's multiple Pokemon. So like when people are like, oh, all these Pokemon like like Mousehold is just multiple of one Pokemon. That's execute, execute. You know, execute Dig Duck Trio. They did it first. Magnet Baton. They did it first. Um, Executor can also go here. I don't know if I like. I think I like Exolan Executor more just because it's a Dragon type. So that's where I stand with that. I I think Cubone and Marowak got good designs and I like them a lot. I like the story plot with them in the original games. So they're going to go there. Hitmonlee is another dog. He's going in favorites right behind Primate. He's my second favorite fighting type in Gen 1. And Hitmochan is good. I mean, it's just a boxer. He's just a guy. But Hitmonlee, dude, his legs extend now and he's fast. I used him in, I used, a, I played a Wonderlock on, of uh, Sword and Shield and I used him and he was just a dog using his feet to kick and do massive damage. Licky Tongue, just why why do they make this i like licky licky more which is a bold bold statement but yeah not much more um coughing is okay they're just bald and wheezing just balls of gas which is like solid gas which is kind of weird because that's two different forms of matter so it is what it is to do what it be you know Rhyhorn, I like Rhyhorn and Rhydon a lot i like Rhyperior more most people don't like Rhyperior. i like Rhyperior the most but Rhydon and Rhyhorn I think this is Rhyhorn, actually, not Rhyhorn. This is Rhydon. God. Um, cool, cool, basic Gen 1 designs. Like it. Chansey's okay. It's just a big egg. You know, give it credit for making grinding a lot easier. So we're going to give it okay. Tangela, uh, I'm going to say, eh, because you don't really, like, the only spot you can get them is, like, I believe is below Pallet Town. It's, like, way late in the game. No one's ever going to use a Tangela. Tang Growth is cooler, but Tangela is, like, forgettable Pokemon. Kangaskhan, never really used a Kangaskhan because I could never find them in the Safari Zone. Like, I just never, I kept grinding and could never find them. And when I did, I never got, was really to catch them. Horsey is a good design. And Seedra is a great design. I like Seedra. And Kingdra would also go here, but this is Gen 1. So, Seedra, I used him once, and I was like, he's a little weak, but they fixed it. They fixed it in uh, in Gen 2. So, I like Seedra a lot. It's a mean seahorse. Um, Goldine's bad. Sea King is eh. I think they they improved the Sea King, make him a fat fish, but I just don't like Goldine. Never did. Never will. Um, we're going Star You and Star Me are both going in good, just because, I mean, simple designs being Starfish, but they did enough to a Starfish to make it um, make it cool somehow. Like it's basic, but it's cool. So I, I, I like them a lot. They're fast little stars, psychic stars at that. So Mr. Mime is eh, eh. eh. I mean, it's kind of weird. It's just a, a mimic or a mime. <laughs> mimic. A mime. I, not much to say. He's a clown. Got weird fingers. Eh, it's kind of the sign of humor in there, but it is what it is. Um, great design, Scyther. Just a prey mantis. We're going to put him behind the wood. No, we're putting him in front. This was another Pokemon that I got to level 100. Didn't know how to evolve him because I played Gen 3 Fire Red Leaf Green a lot. Didn't know how to evolve him. I knew he evolved. Just could never do it because I didn't realize you needed a metal coat and you needed a trade, but still great design. Jinx is bad. I just don't like Jinx. Jinx is, is like Mr. Mind, but worse. Electabuzz, great design. We're putting him behind. Like, did finding out that you could catch Electabuzz, Electabuzz and Fire Red in the, the power plant blew my mind. I just, as a child, I just didn't know Magmar. Same way. I mean, I, that one was a little more common. He's in the Sevi Islands in Fire Red and Leaf Green, but <sighs> Electabuzz, I had no idea. No idea until I saw him one time. I was like, what? What is this thing? And it was, I was like, this thing's awesome. Pinsir, I think Pinsir's a good design. You know, he's a creepy little bug, which is what he's supposed to be. And we'll put him up, we'll put him, we'll put him above. I like him. I like his Mega a lot too. So Pinsir got some love and I think he was a good design from the beginning. Tauros is just a bull. We're going to put him okay. Um, pretty basic. Just, it is like a bull with three tails and that is it. Magikarp. Magikarp is a fish. And he's a good fish. He's red. I like him. He's a carp. He goes carp. He flops a lot. Gyarados. Gyarados is great, obviously. Like, look at it. It's a dragon sea serpent, even though it's not a dragon. I mean, it would have been broken if it was, but it's still cool. Cool as all get out. Um, Lapras is good. I always like getting the Lapras. Remember getting the Lapras from uh, Silf Silfco? And you're like, whoa, this, what is this book? This book, you don't see it anywhere else because that's the only place you can get it. So I like Lapras. Never really used it, though, so... That's where that's going to do those. Eh, I mean, it's just a blob of things. It, actually, I'm going to give it okay because the lore behind it, it being a failed clone of Mew, it's pretty cool. like it. Eevee is okay. We're going to put it here. Um, better, you know, playing Pikachu, Let's Go, and Eevee. Well, 
Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. I'm picking Eevee over Pikachu just because I didn't, Pikachu's overrated. I like Eevee. Eevee has potential. Let's go Vaporeon. Vaporeon's my favorite of the Evolutions, um, of the original Evolutions. We're going to put it right here at good, kind of high up. Jolteon is going to go also in good, but we're going to put it at the back. And Flareon is kind of just, it's just a fluffy, fluffy fox. I'm going to put it okay. I mean, it doesn't really scream fire, aside from the fact that it's orange. The other two scream what they are. Um, this one, I mean, besides that, it's orange. Not so much. Porygon? I like Porygon. It's a it's a weird Pokemon, but I like its design, you know, it being polygons. And then Porygon 2 and Porygon Z being an upgraded version and a corrupted version of it. I like that concept a lot. Uh, Almanite is the worst of the two, in my opinion. And so we're going to put them here in good. I still like the design. I just think I like Kabuto and Kabutops more. Almanite, you know, it being a mollusk, an ancient mollusk, is pretty cool. Um... And I think it's, you know, the two-stage evolution is a clear, like, a good upgrade from the other. But the, the amount of change of Kabuto, so I like Kabuto more. It's a good design, but the amount of change Kabuto changes to a Kabutops is awesome. I'm putting Kabutops, like, top, no, I'm putting him in great. Because I got him to level 100. It's an ancient Scyther. Like, it's what it is. It's Scyther, but ancient. Like, we're putting him right next to Scyther. Like, look at him. It, it, tell me as a kid i'm like this kid is just an ancient scyther i'm mean, like when i was getting them both to level 100 i was like oh i'm just gonna have two pokemon with blades for hands as at level 100 awesome uh aerodactyl we're gonna put him in mid good why don't we put him right here i mean he's cool i mean he's just a pterodactyl <laughs> but i don't really have any other strong feeling toward him because i never really used him he's kind of the third fossil you know snorlax snorlax is a dog Snorlax going here I remember one time I was playing through Leaf Green. My little brother released my Venusaur. I was really upset. And um, so I switched my starter Pokemon or my ace Pokemon to Snorlax. And we tore, I tore through the Elite Four with the Snorlax. Snor you know what? Boom. Like this where I'm going to go there. Snorlax is just, look at it. He's a fat guy. I used to be a fat guy. Okay. I still kind of am a fat guy. We're homies. That's what I'm saying. Um, Articuno, Articuno is, I like him, great, it's chic, ice, good ice type, Zapdos, I don't really like Zapdos' design, I mean, he's got a lot, you know, he's like Dolteon, but like worse, so we're gonna put him, we're gonna put him here, like, they're both spiky, they're like, oh, that's how they represented electric, is give him a lot of spikes, but Zapdos just kind of reminds me of like a, I don't know, I don't know how to, like a kite, I mean, he doesn't look that cool, um, uh, Moltres, Rubber Fire Phoenix Chicken, but, Better than Zapdos. Oh, man. I don't know if I like Moltres or Articuno more. I was going to put him in good. Yeah, I'm going to put him in good. So, I like him. I'm going to put him at the bottom of good. Because, like, he kind of is goofy. Especially when you get into the 3D renderings. Um, Galarian Moltres. By far the coolest. That is what I'll say. But Moltres is, is in good tier. I like him. He's Fire Chicken Phoenix. Dratini. Dratini is a small little worm boy. Snake boy. I like him. I think Dragonair is sleek. I like its design. We're gonna put it. Um, we're gonna put it right in front of Magic Carp. Magic Carp. Um, it is a clear upgrade, clear, clear, distinct upgrade of uh, Dratini um, and Dragonite. Dragonite. I don't know what they were thinking, but I love it. We're putting him in great. Like I don't know why they thought. You know what, Dragonair? We're gonna make him a goober. That's what we're doing. We're gonna make him a goober. And they made this bulky monstrosity named Dragonite, and I'm all for it. Dragonite's cool. He's orange, and he wants just to give you hugs. That's all I'm saying. Now we got we'll go we'll go Mew. Mew is just a cat. It's good. It's not anything special. The appeal they should have made Mew the one you could catch in the games and not Mew two. But I understand that Mew was the first one. But like Mew is kind of basic and Mew two is really cool. So Mew two is just Frieza and Mew two's going in. Mew two we'll put we'll put Mew two. Right there behind Magmar, it's Frieza. I mean, look at it. He's got the tail. He's got the colors. He's he's cool, and he's like the, mo the you know one of the most powerful. He was the most powerful Pokemon for four generations. So we gotta give a credit where credits due. But this is my tier list uh, for all the Gen One Pokemon. If you disagree or agree, let me know in the comments below. But uh, until next time, uh, or God, if you disagree or agree, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more, hit those like and subscribe buttons. Until next time, peace.